Perhaps the richest man to ever live in Tulsa was J. Paul Getty. He made a fabulous fortune in the oil fields and in 1942 also became president of Spartan Aircraft Company. Getty wanted to be close to the factory, so near Sheridan and Virgin Streets, he built a small concrete bunker which would serve as his office and home. The late millionaire's four-room blockhouse was abandoned years ago and sits on property of Crane Carrier Company. Employee Jack Hamilton agreed to show us around. The roof is uh, a poured concrete slab. It's about six to seven, eight inches thick. And that's more along the lines of a, uh, a storm structure or a bunker type uh, structure. Getty built this place like a fortress to protect him from Oklahoma storms and enemy bombs, two things he feared the most. The concrete design is just one of its peculiar features. Yeah, this is a... Uh, an interesting trash container, that being the kitchen door right there. They come out the kitchen door and uh, come over and step on the trash container. Drop your trash in there. Close it down and then some little guy comes by and picks it up. The multi-millionaire and his fifth wife, Teddy Lynch, had a home in one of Tulsa's affluent neighborhoods. But it was here in his concrete bunker that Getty spent most of his time, consumed with the business of Spartan aircraft. This fireplace is, uh, is real marble, and uh, basically it's uh, carved in kind of an art deco picture. It appears that there are some uh, buildings in the background here, which I presume represent the facility, and then uh, this uh, impression of an airplane. There are interesting details all around the house. It's a modest place considering Mr. Getty's wealth. He didn't need anything fancy though. The years spent here were done with virtually no socializing. It appears that this could have been the room that he actually stayed in basically because of this Dutch door arrangement here. Uh, if a person uh, is a little bit of a reclusive personality, they might want the door pulled across so that no one would actually come in here while they're uh, here. This is uh, one of the restrooms, and uh, once again, there's uh, some indications of this fancy marble that's in the other part of the house in here all in big chunks. Instead of see-through windows, the Getty Bunker had these glass blocks, probably for his privacy and his safety. But this wasn't enough for the paranoid Getty. A large part of the house is underground, presumably so he could hide in case of storms or bombs. We're downstairs in the basement area, and uh, this was really the storm uh, area, or if you want to put it that way, it was the area in the case of a bomb uh, attack or something on the facility. Uh, I'm sure it's safe, and what I mean by that is I don't think anybody uh, can, uh, you know, these walls are quite thick. Uh, the floor is poured concrete here. The electricity has been shut off to this house, making it even more eerie. Legend has it that Getty had secret tunnels from this bunker to the Spartan factory, but so far no one's found them. Uh, oh gee, there's the crawl space. That must be the, the entrance to the tunnel or something. Well, it certainly doesn't look like that sort of thing if you really think about it. 